been writing for over 30 years now. Would you tell us about your writing history? I had never really thought about becoming a writer. Uh, I went to uh, an unusual college in the States, Reed College. There were no textbooks. You only read original sources. And we met in seminar groups of 12 to 15 students with a professor <clears throat> and would spend the classes talking, arguing, discussing whatever we were reading at the time. And the senior year, you spent your whole senior year doing a thesis. So writing. Writing. But, <clears throat> but learning really how to think critically. Okay. I can't say that I enjoyed writing my thesis, <clears throat> but... Even though your first writing experience was critical thinking, which... Well, that's no accident, <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> so, uh, so I had the unusual experience of being taught how to think critically. And then when I became trained as a psychotherapist, there was no critical thinking. You were taught a theory and a methodology, and it was the best thing since sliced bread. And you know, and I was, you know, training in more than one thing at the same time. So it was a little bit hard to believe that. Then, when I started doing more formal training, um, both with my trainees in Pittsburgh and workshops and TA conferences. Um, I started doing workshops that were more about thinking about theory rather than teaching theory. Um, so it really had much more to do with my teaching. Um, and then by so Rebecca Troutman, who was the editor of the TAJ back in the 1980s, uh, asked me to write an article. And I said, I don't write. Yeah, my first writing was TA. I wrote a couple of brief articles in the TA journal. One was sort of political, teaching people what matters. Another one was my first effort to bring some of my body training and TA training together. But they were very brief. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they were very satisfying. But anyway, and I certainly wasn't thinking of myself as a writer. And Rebecca asked me to but she was in a workshop I did on script theory. <clears throat> she asked me to write an article, so and which basically came out of a workshop. <clears throat> she said, "Just write up the workshop." So, and that has become such an important <clears throat> article. At least yeah. in our school, we really teach it. It's yeah. so important. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so, so how was that first experience for you? Of really it was horrible. Oh, <laughs> very encouraging. <laughs> Probably for the first ten years of writing, it was just agony. And what was the difficult part of it? Uh, I had a very demanding uh, parent ego state. Um, I was very concerned that what I was writing was accurate. I was representing other people's ideas clearly and accurately. Um, you know, and I was writing more from an academic perspective, even though I wasn't writing for academic journals, but I was writing more with an academic mm -hmm. parent in my head mm -hmm. rather than as a clinician and as a psychotherapist. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a lot of fun. Um, and yet it felt important. Um, and I could see in the way the articles, some of the articles were taken up, that having that kind of critical thinking was valuable to people. And, you know, and then uh, my friend Suzanne Robinson up in Canada offered me her cabin on a lake for one month every August. Yeah, for, uh, so well described in the Meech in the Lake, Lake papers. papers. And, that's when I really began to form an identity as a writer. That's and and began to really f find pleasure in it. And mm -hmm. I would write rough drafts by hand at that point, and and uh, Suzanne and I would sit on the roof of her boathouse with a good bottle of wine and argue 
about the whatever I'd written that day, and um, but then then things really came to life.